A baby girl in America born with HIV appears to have been cured after very early treatment with standard drug therapy. Researchers say the two-year-old from Mississippi has been off medication for about a year with no signs of infection. More testing needs to be done to see if the treatment would have the same effect on other children. If the girl stays healthy, it would be only the world's second reported cure. Well, Dr. John Fraser is from Oxford University's Nuffield Department of Medicine and an expert on HIV eradication research. Search. And Dr. Freyte, am I right in thinking you have uh, monitored the way this has worked, although you haven't been part of the study itself? Yes, no, that's correct. No, we've been watching it very closely from a distance, if you like. Um, it's potentially a very exciting case. And if it's true that this child has been cured, then it really is a very significant finding. But I think before we all get too carried away, there are still a lot of questions that need to be answered. Um, I think it's important that we get the context right as well, because, I mean, HIV cure is, is certainly a research strategy that we're all aiming for. But, you know, these cases can be prevented as well. And one has to remember that from a broader clinical perspective, you know, the prevention, screening of mums, um, provision of medication to stop these infections taking place has to be a clinical priority. But for those of us who are looking to cure HIV, this is a, it could be a major breakthrough if it can be proven. As you say, it's only the, the second case that has been reported. But if true, it could sort of lead to sort of certain questions that we can then tackle in the research environment. Uh, questions like what then? Well, so first of all, we, we would first of all need to find out, before we can take this any further, was this child really infected? And I think that the, the researchers in the States are actually presenting at the moment in Atlanta um, regarding that. And if that child was infected, um, have they really been cured? We know that in some patients, if they're treated very early and they stop therapy, that the virus doesn't come back straight away and there may be a delay before you can detect it in the blood. So is this just one of those examples? The child is having a, a period of remission, if you like, mm. and then the virus will come back? Or is this a true cure and I think that is the sort of thing we would need to be able to sort of question more firmly before we can make any big conclusions. Well, in, in, in that case and I know you said they're just questions we are jumping the gun a bit aren't they because I mean people do go into remission in this and if that is the case how long would you leave it before jumping in the air and, you know, throwing the confetti around. Well, no, exactly. So, um, and that's one of the big questions that researchers are trying to argue. I think you have to remember the wider context here is that, you know, up until a few years ago, it was believed that a cure for HIV was completely impossible. Scientists, clinicians said, this is something we can't do. You stay on your therapy for life, and that's the end of the story. However, over the last kind of couple of years, we've started to believe that actually this might be an achievable goal. So the important thing here, it is another little step, if you like, in that sort of proof of concept. So if this is true, and bearing in mind that most kids, and there are other cases of children who started therapy very early, who then stopped therapy, but their virus came back. So what's right. different about this child, and can we learn anything from this child that will help us? And, and it, it was done with a standard drug. I mean, that seems to be one of the, the extraordinary things, that it wasn't anything new in terms of the medication used. Is that right? Yes, no, that's absolutely right, and that's what makes this interesting. So the Berlin patient who you referred to before, who's the other case, had an incredible cocktail of medications. They had radiotherapy, chemotherapy, a stem cell transplant mm. with special cells. This child had none of that. They had the standard therapy that you give to any other person who is HIV positive. What is different here is the timing. It looks like this child was treated within 30 hours of being born and it may be that there is something about getting in very early with this infection that allowed what we're calling a cure at the moment to yeah. happen. The question is was the infection really ingrained in the child? Did it properly take hold? Was it a proper infection that was cured? Or maybe it never really got started and that's why we're seeing what looks like a cure to have taken place. Yeah, good to put it in, uh, in context as you say. Uh, Dr. Fraser, thanks very much for joining no, us. Thank you're you. welcome. Thank you.